What a mouth-watering prospect this is. Two genuine heavyweights of European football, both with the potential to go all the way. It's difficult to pick a winner here. It's Real Madrid. They take on Chelsea, and we're live on EA TV. The floodlights are beaming down on the players here at Stamford Bridge in West London. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. We've got action from the round of 16 in the Champions League to bring you. It's Chelsea facing Real Madrid. Well, what a first leg we have in store for us here. Yes, it might be cagey, but these are two excellent teams with great individuals. This will be a high-quality game, Derek. Chelsea, Thiago Silva plays alongside Kalidou Koulibaly in central defence. And the lead striker today is Joao Felix. Here's our goal. Chelsea are lining up. Number 16, Edward Mendy. Number 24, Rhys James. Number 6, Starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Carvajal starts with Fernand Mendy in the fullback positions. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And now this Champions League round of 16 first leg begins. to get in behind the defence can they cover up and holding on to it at the second time of asking Carvajal bad pass and Kai Havertz Well, so many terrific players have come through German youth academies in recent years. One such player is Kai Havertz. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. In and around the box, his creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Zakaria. Now with Havertz. Christian Pulisic has lost it. A complete miscue by the goalkeeper. Will there be a price to pay? But I think we can call him one mighty relieved goalkeeper. Well, he can smile now, but that was a big blunder. Joao Felix. And he's through here. Didn't fall the keeper. Fancy a short one. Not the pass he had in mind. Takes the shot. And gobbled up by Courtois. Modric. Aiden Azar. Oh, he's given the ball away.
Modric has given it straight to the opposition. Havertz. Fed through by Kovacic. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Well, I still can't believe that didn't go in, Derek. What an incredible save. Aidan Azar. Tony Kors. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. But they dealt with the threat posed. A real struggle to contain him. Well, that's not textbook defending. Cross! Well, that... And the penalty is given. The referee right on the spot. And now a chance for them to take the lead here. Well, no card handed out. He gets away with a rebuke. Well, a lot of referees would have booked him there. But I'm with him on this one. No yellow card for me. This to make it 1-0. And there it is! Perfectly executed! Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. And away they go again. What effect will that goal have on Chelsea? We're going to find out. Pulisic. Far from a good pass. Look at Modric. Really vital interception here. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. Luka Modric. And they begin the second half in the first leg of this Champions League round of 16 tie. Look at Modric. And denied by the post. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, I have to say, I thought that looked to be going in. It was such a good effort. Applying vigorous pressure. And he's in. Oh, that goes down as a wonderful save. But the offside flag has gone up and it grinds to a halt. And the referee retrospectively will go back and so hand out the yellow card. Coming off the pitch, number 10, Christian. And the substitution will occur now. And giving the ball away. Hot Jones, please contact your nearest steward. Thank you. Sterling on the ball, Joao Felix. Well, you've got to classify that as a poor attempt, a long way wide. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Oh, it's cheeky! Long distance effort, keeper did his job. Vinicius Junior. Finishing drilled home with true conviction. 
connection. Tremendous goal. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Hazard. Just not looking confident in possession. And Aubameyang making the move with the ball at his feet. What's he going to do next? The save was a good one. So a personnel change then. Playing it short. Nicely blocked by Kroos. And a Chelsea throw-in coming up here. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. A decisive clearance it was. Mateo Kovacic. Now with Aubameyang. Not there to intercept. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. Modric. Look at Modric. Rifled against the post, but back in play. Well, able to survive that attacking push. There to take it away. Ziyech. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Corner it is for Chelsea. Favouring the short one. Oh, a fine block. Taken short. Koulibaly. And a squandered opportunity there. And so into the final five minutes. Modric. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Free kick to Chelsea. And three minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Rodrigo. Hazard has it. Course. A smart stop here. And now the delivery. And clearing it away. And he takes on the shot. Well, the keeper. Full time it is. And Real Madrid will take with them a lead into the second match. Well, they're not through just yet. But that was a convincing performance today. They were inventive, they controlled the midfield, and they've looked sharp in attack. They're unlucky not to win this by more. Well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, he scored a good goal, and if I was his coach, I certainly wouldn't be worried by him missing a couple of chances. The fact is, he was a constant threat today.